everyone. You're just in time. We're doing our exercises. <sighs> Reach up to touch the sky, then down to touch your toes. I like exercising. Me too. <laughs> oh. oh! Are you okay? I don't know. Suddenly I feel really tired. Huh? Like I have no energy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, here's the problem. Rob's robot batteries are low. No wonder you're feeling tired, Rob. You're running out of energy. <laughs> Come on, Rob. A little time on our robot charging pad and you'll feel as good as new. <laughs> That's strange. Usually I feel all charged up when I stand on the charging pad. Hmm. Uh, uh oh. I think it's broken. It's not sending out any power at all. Oh no. What will we do? I get my energy by eating healthy foods like fruits and vegetables. But I'm not a robot like you guys. Yeah, and we robots need energy. And you know what else we need? A new charging pad. Yeah. That sounds like a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Our charging pad is broken, and we need to find a new one. Fast. Okay, let's see where you can go. The jungle planet has lots of plants, even lily pads, but not any robot charging pads. Mmm. <laughs> A tasty sandwich would sure give me lots of energy, but it wouldn't charge Rob back up. The power planet? I bet there are lots of robot charging pads there. Mm -hmm. Yes, the power planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. is making. It's the Tower of Power. There should be some charging pads over there. Mm -hmm. Come on, Rob. I'm coming. Wait for <sighs> me. Oh. oh, no. Rob can hardly move. Don't worry, Orbit. We'll get Rob recharged and re-energized. Won't we, Rob? We sure will. Let's <gasps> go. Hold on, Rob. We need to conserve what little energy you have left. Oh, good. <sighs> but how, TK? Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> hey! Hop in, Rob. <laughs> we'll give you a lift. <laughs> huh. Yay! A charge pad! Oh. 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 What's 
What's wrong, TK? Why isn't it recharging Rob? Oh. There's just not enough power stored up right now, that's why. I'm the caretaker here. It's my job to make sure all the power generators are running. But I've been so tired lately. Is that why there's no power? I've got no energy. I can't recharge my batteries, and I can't keep up with all the work. The power planet generates power three ways. Through solar power, wind power, and good old-fashioned wheel power. Together, they make enough power to run the whole planet when they're working. Maybe we can help. Yeah! Oh, that'd be nice. Then rest easy, caretaker. Oh, no, you don't, Rob. You save your energy. We'll fix the generators. Come on. <gasps> hmm. When the windmill is turning, it makes energy. But it's stopped. I know. The old girl needs someone to grease her gears. I can do that. I have lots of energy. Whee! Those are big flowers! These solar flowers collect energy from the sun, just like real flowers. And the bigger they are, the more energy they collect. But why aren't they working? I don't know. Hmm. Why don't I go take a look? What do you see, Orbit? I see... dirt! Yeah! These flowers are really dirty! No wonder they're not getting any sun! Hmm... Come back down, Orbit! I think I know what to do! Okay, I greased the windmill gears. Now what do I do? Uh, what? Uh, oh, oh, good work! Now give her a whirl and see if she twirls! Hmm. <gasps> it's making energy! It's working! Great! Good job! That was a great idea, TK. All the flowers needed was a good rinse. They should get lots of sun now. And generate lots of energy. It's working! Yeah! Okay, let's see. We oiled the windmill and watered the solar flowers. But the planet needs a bit more energy. What did we forget to fix? Hmm. <gasps> the big wheel! <laughs> <laughs> Orbit, what are you doing? Creating energy! Look! <laughs> it's fun, but it sure takes a lot of energy to make energy. Control? 
Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Energy, my robot batteries needed a boost, but Rocket's charging pad was broken, so we went to the power planet to find a new one. We found out how important energy is to everyone and learned all about using wind power, solar power, and big wheel power to generate energy and get the power planet charged up again. And me too! Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Power Planet! Hello, everyone. We've got a big... Problem. Hmm. TK's not feeling well. Hmm. I think I must have come down with. Uh, 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 find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet. Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it planet, that's it. That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the fix it planet. Come on, TK. I think the fix it clinic is this way. nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay?
sorry, Bob. Whoa! The space virus has turned you blue. <laughs> Are you okay, TK? to the end you'll soon better be. Hmm? What did you say? I know, don't. My words coming out funnier. No, oh, no, oh. What's wrong with him? Ah! I don't understand what he's saying. He must have caught TK's huh? space virus. Eee! Oh. Orbit. Now you need to get to the clinic, too. Huh? Greasy gears! We have to get out of here! <sighs> Nothing! It won't budge! <laughs> huh? Ah! Looks like you caught the space virus, too. Hmm. Uh, ah! <sighs> Our mission is getting bigger. We need to get all three of you to the clinic and fast. Don't worry, Rob. I'll help you. All of you. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Thanks, Emma. You got us here. Good, that's not. You know, maybe we should just go. I'm not sneezing all the time. Maybe being sick isn't so. Bad. So, how are they gonna fix us? I mean, are they gonna take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing. Blue. And Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently. But lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up, oh, and it's fun! There, you see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. <laughs> Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew! Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. 
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. So we went to the Fix-It Planet to help TK feel better. TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon, he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fix It Planet. Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. For an end to your 
troubles, just solve three puzzles. But if you cannot, one returns to this spot. Now step through the door for puzzles galore. So if we solve three puzzles, we'll find the missing puzzle piece. But hmm, there's nothing on the other side of the door. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
guess it's all up to Orbit. I guess it's all up to me. Red, yellow, red, green, blue. Uh, here it goes. Red, yellow, red, green. Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your life? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the Puzzle Piece Prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Thank you. 
Music Planet. Kit didn't come with any wands. Don't worry, I think I can help with that. Hmm. Huh? No, a feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. Not squeak. Rob, you turned squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma, wait! Ah! Emma! <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. <laughs> How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! <laughs> huh? Cool. But where's Squeak? It's all in the book, Rob. You can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh! Hey! Huh? Look at this! What's this? It's magic cards! Here, look! Whoa. I love cards! They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card. Any card. Now, I will guess what card you have. <laughs> really? You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Oh, a seven of diamonds. Uh-uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm, a two of clubs. Uh, wrong. Uh, I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Hey, let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> you made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah. Try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See? It doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... <gasps> Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that. Oh, <laughs> 
work. I just had to know the magic words. Magic is really just knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? reappear, but instead she got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. I just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, stops, nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. Mm. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah. Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your station. I'm going to 
going to pick a coconut to add to our picnic lunch. Ooh. Coconuts are yummy, Orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not going to climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm going to use my head. Well, while you're out smarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> Any spot is a good spot, as long as there are no ants. Yeah! Glittering galaxies! TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. <laughs> okay, coconuts. Come down! Uh, uh, picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh-huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm going to pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh! Rockin' robots! That's awesome! <laughs> okay. This time, you're coming down. getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Hmm. No. Where? Right the... Huh? <laughs> but it was there a second ago. It was right... Ants! Ants took my coconut! Heck! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm going to help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hmm. couple of those oranges for my sand castle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Huh? Ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this? But I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No, they floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what took your coconut or your fruit, but I'm sure it wasn't invisible ants or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm-hmm. We'll need... 
need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Ooh. A space lizard! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. Got him. Good plan, Rob. It was teamwork. to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Space Wizard. Goodbye, Beach Planet. Seven. Time to help me find the others. We're playing hide and seek. Come on. Ready or not, here I come. Ooh, nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. One, two, three on orbit. Huh? Oh, I'm always the first one who gets found. <laughs> That's because you're always the first one I see, Orbit. One, two, three on TK! Huh? <sighs> this time you found me even faster than the last time we played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three on Emma! Huh? That sure didn't take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes, that's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. A soccer planet? Soccer's fun, 
but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> the clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide and seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Let's get here. <laughs> Two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get it off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hard. 
that trick again, Orbit. But I really am here. You can see me now. That hat that made me invisible fell off. A hat that made you invisible? Now you're being way too silly. <laughs> <laughs> Once he realizes we've stopped looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. Huh? Huh? That hat! It made Squeak... Invisible! Help! Orbit! Orbit! Oh, everyone stay visible until we get Orbit out. I've got an idea. Watch your head orbit. You bet, TK. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yay! <laughs> Thanks. Yay! I was starting to think I'd be stuck on the hide and seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible. So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye. sitting in front of me, or I can't reach things way up high without climbing on a stool. I just wish sometimes that I was bigger. I want to be at least as big as the rest of you. Hmm, huh? maybe there's a place where you can get bigger, TK. You really think so, Orbit? Why not? The robot galaxy is a pretty big place itself. That sounds like we've got a mission. Yeah. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to know if there's anywhere in the whole robot galaxy where TK can get bigger. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet, burr. Nope, I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom Planet. I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's 
the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. TK big. These are red. It's okay, Orbit. You don't have to be afraid of the flowers. Not the flowers. That. Huh? I don't want little bees. I just don't want a giant bee thinking I'm a flower. We have to get back to TK and find some way to shrink her back to normal. Yeah. 
there sure isn't better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait, my tummy trunk. I must have something to help me find them. Uh... Oh, there's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? Ah! Where did that giant soccer ball come from? Hmm. TK's tummy trunk! you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the super-sized planet so TK could get bigger. We learned you can do some pretty neat things when you're big. But it also means you might not be able to do other things. But most of all, we learned that big or small, it's always best to just be yourself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! to the space fair. Tiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? Mm-mm. 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 <sighs> we'll need to get him cleaned up, and then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The Scrub-A-Dub Planet! Oh, that's perfect! Yes, the Scrub-A-Dub Planet! Great choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Super 
water sensor is broken. Oh, it's all my fault for being in such a big hurry. Don't worry, Emma. If you get those parts back, I'm sure I can fix it. <laughs> we can do that. What about me? I'll try to get Orbit unstuck. And we'll go get the missing parts. Get clean. <laughs> so do you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just most little more. Got you. Oh my! What happened to you? What happened to you? Oh dear. We got the missing parts back. But now we all need a bath. And I'm still stuck. I'll fix that. I'll have that super sensor robot scrubber fixed in a gif. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Ta-da! I'm clean as a whistle. All set to go to the fair. We're not. And it's too late now anyway. Sorry for everyone missing out because of me. Don't be sorry, Emma. Getting clean was even more fun than going to the fair. This thing is awesome. Now it's your turn. <laughs> 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 Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubbadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the super sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. And TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Scrubber Dog Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're trying to find some place to go for a vacation. I got it! Let's go camping! Yay! Camping! Uh, That's a great idea, Emma! But I've never been camping. Me neither. It's great! You get to toast marshmallows. Did you say... Marshmallows? Mmm! Yes, and not just that. You get to sleep in tents and sing camp songs. And if I do, the others will say, Have you ever seen a robot with his antenna in a knot? Down 
Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The ice planet. That's a cool planet. But we might get cold sleeping in a tent there. The Popcorn Planet would be a great place to go to watch movies, but not for camping. That looks perfect. Excellent choice. That's the camping planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
Water doesn't unglue the glue. You had to say that. <gasps> Rocket ship home! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit and I learned all about camping on the camping planet. We learned that good campers pick up their trash and leave their campsite clean for the next camper. But most of all, we learned that recycling is very important. We used trash nobody wanted to make a boat that brought us safely back to our rocket ship. That was great! Well done! I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, Justin. 
Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh! Avast me, hearties! Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever! And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too! Me three! One, two, three! Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh, no. That would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big R! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit! Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopes! There's at least a hundred space trolls out there! 
But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to capture Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm jungle explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da -da -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Huh? No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on the play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Oh. Space trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space sure probably keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillow, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheriff Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yay! Yeah! So I'd say it's... Mission Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater plant to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters 
we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done! I think it's time to go home. And up, buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet! Play show and share, and Orbit's up first. Ooh, today, the thing I want to show and share is my space top. When you spin it really fast, <laughs> it balances on its tiny tip. Yeah, we know, Orbit. <laughs> That's because you always show your space top for show and share. Maybe you have something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope, nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. for show and share. Okay then, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about tree planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Ew, stinky foot planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we'd find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Just a rock. Ooh. Yeah, 
but it has stripes and a hole right through the middle. Neat, huh? Does it do anything? I don't think so. It's just a rock. That's what I said. There are tons more interesting things around here than a rock. Yeah, like what I found. Come on! Ta-da! Here's my show and share. What is it? It's a radio, I think. It plays music. Let me show you. Share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great show and share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My show and share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. <laughs> That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. Hop on! a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool! Awesome. And I think this bug makes it really fly. a rolling saucer. Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! Oh, that 
didn't sound like a rock. Amazing! Cosmically cool! Looks like we all found a special new something to show and share. That's right, Emma, which means mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we came to Discovery Planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. And Orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. Sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Mm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
stop the craft cannons. at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh... Good thinking! Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on! Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. for Squeak to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Uh, 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 oh. Ours is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Uh-oh. It won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Oh, that's too bad. I guess now we'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. Uh, oh, oh no, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? 
We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? Bob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished. But sometimes, small is best. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage Planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The Garage Planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Mm -hmm. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about the farm planet? Hmm. I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. 
Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Chips go. Ooh. Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. I did hear something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Is someone there? We're the only huh? ones here. I... I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining those footprints. <gasps> oh! I don't know, TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh... Maybe that's what junkyard ghost footprints look like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twinned the flowers. <laughs> huh? huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. I'm glad you like it. Huh. I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Uh -huh. I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost <gasps> got it! Mistaken. 
here. There's no way across. How are we going to get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! Run, TK, run! <gasps> There's a monster after you! <gasps> she's not a monster. This is Blossom. I named her that because she really likes flowers. Uh -huh. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're going to get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? <laughs> Did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <gasps> Blossom, where are you going? <laughs> yeah! Rocket boosters! <laughs> that does it. The rocket is all fixed. Then it's mission accomplished! Thanks to Blossom! <laughs> yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? junkyard planet to try to find a new booster to fix the rocket. But while we were looking, TK found some strange footprints. But even though TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster, she really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck, helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket, and help us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Blossom. Goodbye, Junkyard Planet. How can I help you today? 
We want to have the best slumber party ever. Where should we go? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody <laughs> knows. Wow, it's the rainbow planet. Ooh. It looks pretty, but I don't think we could play or sleep on rainbows. Ooh, I think it would be too cold to sleep on the ice planet. Hmm. That looks like a good place for a slumber party. Yes, the bedtime planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit. Why don't we climb into our beds? <sighs> and I'll tell everyone a story. Our beds? I'd rather play hide and seek. We can play nice, slow, relaxing hide and seek. I'll be it. Everybody hide. One, two, three, four, five, six. TK, you're supposed to be hiding. We have to stay up all night and play games. Huh? Seven, eight, nine. This is a great hiding spot. I'll never find you here. Six, five, four. Oops, where was I? Oh, never mind. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, this is so 
so much fun. I can't find TK anywhere. I guess I'll just have to keep looking. But that's okay. I can keep looking all night. Oh, Rob, huh? stay awake. We don't want to go to bed. We're having too much fun. Come on, help me find the girls. Orbit, we should let her sleep and go to bed. Hmm. You're right, Rob. Emma's tired. We should let her sleep. Shh, Orbit, you'll wake up. So we better be very, very quiet. What's huh? all the noise? Mm. Who's shouting? I just want to go to bed. Me too. Mm. No! Stay up! All night! Let's watch a movie! Make paper hats! Play musical chairs! Let's build a fort! Corbin, stop! What's wrong? Why don't you want to go to bed? Mm. Slumber parties are supposed to be fun! Everyone is supposed to stay up very late. Huh? You're right, Orbit. But it's not fun if we're all tired. And you're tired too. Hmm. I don't want to go to bed because when I don't sleep in my own bed, sometimes I, I have bad dreams. Huh? That's why you're trying to keep us all awake? Uh. Don't worry, Orbit. I have an idea. Sometimes this teddy bot sleeps with me, so I don't have bad dreams. Would you like to sleep with it tonight, Orbit? Thank you, TK. But what about you? No, you won't have your teddy bot. <laughs> Good thing teddy bots have sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the bedtime planet for a slumber party. We played lots of fun games. So many that we got very tired. But Orbit wanted to keep playing. Then, we discovered Orbit was afraid he might have bad dreams. So TK let Orbit borrow her teddy bot to sleep with. Then he was okay. We learned that staying up late sometimes is fun. But in the end, you always have to go to bed. And sometimes, we need a little help going to sleep. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four. Jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs. Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Maybe we can get some more. 
I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> chickens. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hey-ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred. And who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob. And these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah! That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah. I should warn you, sometimes a simple-sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. Here come the great egg collector. <gasps> oh, no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens.
down to orbit. <gasps> ah! Uh oh. Orbit, what did you do? It wasn't me. The cow did it. That's not a cow, Orbit. That's a bull. Okay, but now, before we can collect the eggs or catch the chickens, we need to fix the fence. The bone knocked over. Huh. You and TK go after the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let me see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you'll red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! Grumpy, you just need to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah, turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. the eggs farmer, Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence, and then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done! What an exciting mission! As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Everyone, we're 
we're making a special holiday dinner. Come on in. Here you go. I cooked the crunch out of these crater carrots. Thanks, Orbit. Okay, who's doing the Saturn salad? All done, Rob. Chop and toss. Good. Let's see. The lunar lasagna is cooked. Ooh, what else is there? Comet cake for dessert! Uh-oh, I knew I forgot something. Huh. What? We can't help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. Yeah. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice, the Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Celebrating Help Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm. Maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. Hmm. It's turned into a comet mush. Ew! It looks like all the good ones have been picked already. Hmm. There must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. Oh, and there it is! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one! Yes! <laughs> huh? 
don't believe that greedy gears. He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> Yes, he is. Ah! Come back with my dessert! Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? Oh, but it belongs to that greedy Gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on Help Giving Day? That's the worst. You'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not the baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. your ship so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. So, should I get the cake now? Huh? You want us to have the dessert? is a pretty good way to celebrate Help Giving Day, wouldn't you? Mmm, the best! Almost as good as this comet cake! <laughs> 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 Giving dinner dessert, but every comet cake was too hard, 
or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since Help Giving Day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not Help Giving Day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, see a real circus with real circus performers. Yeah! Okay then, that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. The Toolbox Planet. I love tools. You sure do, TK. But we want to see jugglers. The Thimble Planet is a great place to go if we wanted to learn to sew. But we want to see acrobats. Oh. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. Yay! <laughs> Yes, the circus planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound. What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed huh? just for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. 
I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? Uh, um, well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus acts. <laughs> I gonna do? <sighs> oh, hi, Squeak. Have you come to see the show? TK's gonna juggle, Emma's gonna be an acrobat, and Orbit's gonna walk a tightrope. What about me? Mm, I can't do anything. I can't juggle, I'm not an acrobat, and I can't walk a tightrope. You think there must be something I can do? Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Wow! You think I should try to juggle like TK, Squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope. But I think I can do this. <laughs> I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. Tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> you, you think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler. I can't be an acrobat. And I can't be a tightrope walker. But I can be.
great too. Not only did we all have fun and see a really great show, we got to be in one too. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? circus performers. So we went to the circus planet. But the circus people weren't there, so we decided to put on our own show. TK was the juggler, Emma was the acrobat, and Orbit was the tightrope walker. It takes lots and lots of practice to do all those things. I couldn't do anything like they could. But Squeak made me see that I could be funny and make him laugh. So, I did a circus clown show. Well done, everyone. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three,